feel? Uh, it feels great. You know, it's first time uh, in Octagon was already great, but I lost. But this time I'm so excited. Very much. Talk about fighting here in Salt Lake City. We're in a little bit of altitude. Did you feel that at all this week? At first, as we came on uh, Friday, uh, first training was, was was hard, but that's why we came uh, earlier a bit. Uh, first training was hard, but day by day it was better, better. And, and yesterday we, we did a s small training. I feel it's it's good, and we prepared very well for the altitude for everything. So first round, first round, I uh, wasn't get tired at all. So. When you dropped him, you actually ran for him and then stopped yourself before the, the referee. Had, could you see that he was completely out? I saw he, he was out. He, his eyes was closed and he was on, on the mat, so I, sh I already was sure that he sent. Speak about the training, talk about that leg kick. Was that, was that something that you guys have been working on? Was that like the secret weapon? I think a lot of people are surprised when they see heavyweights, you know, really bring the head kicks. Uh, but talk a little bit about their training and about, was that something that you've been really trying to perfect? Or? Yeah, we're training, for, we, of course, every time we focus on, on every part of the game, but this time, uh, John, uh, my team joined another uh, striking coach, uh, Robert Butlowski, and, and my head coach, uh, Piotr Janeski, where they both uh, are preparing me for, for this combination to finish every action with a left leg. Uh, I didn't set it in the in first round, I, maybe once. It uh, wasn't good, I was waiting, waiting, but I knew earlier or sooner it, it, it would come. So that was prepared. Well, with a, a win like that, is it, was this, were you trying to send a message to the division, you know, to really show them that there's some new blood coming up, up the ranks? And when I come to the octagon, I'm very emotional. I don't think about my next, uh, uh, you know, fight and everything. I just focus on the fight. Now I'm excited after that, so now I'm just, you know, I want to celebrate my victory and not thinking about the next opponent. I will, like, yeah, I will think about you know in a, in a few weeks. It was a very hard preparation for that, so it was like eight weeks, very hard working, and the trip it was long here and everything. So, so I feel great. <laughs> it doesn't look like you took any real damage in the fight. How healthy are right now? Would you like to try to get in there sooner rather than later, get another fight in this year? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, um, another fight I would like to. Win. Uh, the world that's here. I don't have any damage, everything's good. Uh, I have like, I don't know, 14 uh, days suspension and that's it. We can go back to training. Looking across the UFC's heavyweight division, is there any name that jumps out at you? Is there someone that you, when you came to the UFC, you're like, I want to get a fight with that guy? No, not really. You know, <clears throat> when you're fighting, you want to be the best. So, But I know I have to do it step by step and, and that's what I want to do. It's uh, UFC call whoever they want from me. Cool. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you.